Oh wow, there's actually something underneath as you can see right there. Oh, this is the wrong burger. What's up YouTube? We got another Japan food review coming your way and today we got the Tsukimi campaign. We got a lot to try for you guys and if you don't know what Tsukimi is, Tsukimi is the moon viewing festival. It's happening this September 10th and for a little bit more detail, Tsukimi or Otsukimi meaning moon viewing also known as Jugoya are Japanese festivals honoring the autumn moon, a variant of the mid-autumn festival. The celebration of the full moon typically takes place on the 15th day of the eighth month of the traditional Japanese calendar. And so that's a short breakdown of what Tsukimi is and McDonald's is honoring the festival with all these items. We got a couple burgers to try, we got a dessert, we got a pie, we got nuggets. We got a lot of things to try, which means a lot of content for you guys to enjoy. But enough of a history lesson, let's dive right into it with the Tsukimi burger. Now, now, there's two variations of this one there's with cheese and without this one's without cheese and obviously it'll give you more of an idea of what it'll taste and then you can just imagine that with cheese so let's open it up and see what we got today and so here's the burger obviously you can see a little bit of that bacon sticking out so let's look at the top of bun you can obviously see a little bit of that sauce and you do see the bacon not centered so I'm gonna center it a little bit just so I make sure I get a decent amount of every bite as always I'm gonna complain about the bacon and I do wish they would give us two strips of bacon so we can crisscross them that way we get a bacon in every single bite but you know when in Rome you got to do with what you got and we got a nice piece of egg covers a lot of the patty so you'll ensure that you get a nice taste of egg with every single bite obviously you have the beef patty and you have the bottom of the bun bottom of the bun a little bit dry I'm worried that this amount of sauce won't cut it and they might need to add a little bit more at the bottom the beef patty looks very thin as well I'm not a huge fan of this extremely Thin beef patty. I feel like it should be a little bit bigger for one of the more premium sandwiches. But before we dive in, let's see what exactly is in this burger. So this is apparently an exquisite dish that combines plump eggs, juicy 100% beef patty, smoked bacon, and rich tomato creamy sauce. So it turns out that sauce is rich tomato creamy sauce. So I'm very interested and very curious at just how good it's gonna taste. Is it gonna be enough to give yourself a nice little mouthful of flavor? But yeah, I guess let's dig right in and see how good this tastes. Ah, oh, bon appetit. All right, so my first bite impression of the burger, it's not that bad. You do taste the beef, you do taste the bacon, which is surprising. I do wish I had a little bit of a texture, a little bit of crunch, but what's lacking in my first bite is that sauce. I Again, like I mentioned, they might not have put enough sauce to cover the entire patty, and so it might get drowned out by the other flavors, and so it probably won't add a lot to the burger, but that was just the first bite. Let's keep going and let's see how that changes up. All right, so after eating the rest of the burger, I have to confirm that there is not enough sauce. The sauce is either too weak in flavor or there's just not enough sauce. I can barely register that the sauce is actually there. I taste the beef. I taste the bacon. I taste the bun. I can't taste any sauce. So you get a little bit of a dry package because there's barely any sauce. Yes, the beef and the bacon does taste good, but the beef, as you saw, was a little bit dry. And so you have dry beef, you have the bun, you do have the bacon, which does add a little bit of moisture. But aside from the grease on the bacon, it's a dry package. And so I'm very disappointed in the Tsukimi burger. Maybe the burger they made me was a little bit disappointing and they just didn't put enough sauce, but they definitely should put a lot more sauce. Definitely coat the bottom of the bun with that sauce. Sauce. that way you get a lot more sauce with every single bite and so this zucchini burger definitely very disappointed I do hope that the other burger will live up to the hype or will actually taste sauce or something because this definitely tastes like it's a weak package and I definitely do not recommend don't get the zucchini burger seems like a waste of time because of the lack of sauce if you want egg on your burger there is another option there is the egg burger it doesn't come with bacon as far as I remember but it does come with egg so if you want egg that's I guess what you're gonna do with it. so definitely zucchini Kimmy burgers definitely stay away from it it's not worth the money in my honest opinion anyways that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give me a like comment subscribe and ring a dangling that bell and let me know down in the comments below do you like your bacon crispy or do you want it a little bit soft the way the japanese do it but hey thank you for taking the time watching this video and i'll catch you guys next time peace out